I left the the monitor plugged in, so the battery is dead. Damn it. Okay, this is weird. It's vlog 100 already. Morning. Kind of getting a late start today. Um, the weather changed a lot since the last video. We actually have had about a week off here because we got a bunch of rain. And I, last week, I remember actually turning my heat on for a minute at the house. Well, yesterday it got to 92 degrees and I got my first sunburn of the year. So, um, they didn't kind of get a late start because I did not sleep well last night. I was just sore. I think today's plan is going to be spraying ditches. Gary's out with the sprayer right now, kind of testing the uh, modifications he made to it to make sure it still works right. Just kind of clean up our perimeters of the field and kind of using that to help make sure that uh, the sprayer is working the way it's supposed to. That's where we'll start today and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. I think I'm gonna hit the apiary up again. Um, after all that rain, everything else is so overgrown. If I can get up there and mow it now, maybe it'll stay under control. Well, I'm glad I got up here. If I wouldn't have gotten up here today and mowed, this would have been a complete nightmare. I don't think I would have got it back this year. Check that out. Got our first iris. Actually, it's our second. There's one over here, too. Yeah, they should be a little bit happier without all that grass around them. Full surviving apple tree. This electrical cord is like two feet too short. The wind came up a little bit too strong, so we're gonna can spring perimeters for today. We only have, um, I think, two more fields. I don't know if he did the one up north, I'm not sure. We have two more fields um, south of us that we need to do, which I will probably do in the morning before the wind comes up. The next two days, it is supposed to be you know, back to our normal 25, 35 mile an hour winds. In the meantime, I'm running the perimeter of this field. This will be the, probably the next one that we plant and, um, and knock some of these trees out on his that have fallen in, blown in from that storm. Gary said there was three different trees that he saw over here. That was two of them. I think the other one, he said, we're gonna have to cut over into my field. I missed my turn. Out in the middle of nowhere, and I missed my turn. Looking good in there. finish mowing the other half of my lawn because I only got half done last night 
and I gotta be over here in the morning early so we can spray before the wind comes up. So we'll call that a day, I think. What are you doing in the sprayer, buddy? Wow, it is a sticky morning today. It's supposed to go up to, I think, 93 again today, but I need to hurry up and get this sprayer filled and get out there before the wind comes up. Brown hair flowing in the wind. It's kind of hard to see in this built gauge. Right there, we're going to 300. That should be good. This is going to look like I'm spilling a bunch of crap, but it's just water coming out of here. Clean water. Damn it. I left the, the monitor plugged in, so the battery is dead. Damn it. They said we were too young to know. There's the university out there. I think you're testing for gall mage again. There's a bunch of those kids out there. It's good to see kids still getting into agriculture. It's maybe not a real fun or exciting thing. I don't think a lot of kids are really into it anymore. And unless you're born into it, it's pretty much uh, not really easy to uh, to get into it from ground zero. Paying more attention to my driving. Let you come and make your own with me. Let you come and make your own with me. Well, we got Gary's field done, and now we're going to head over to mine here. The worst part about this whole journey, honestly, is crossing the highway with this big piece of equipment at rush hour. But hopefully that's over. And I said, would you come and make your own with me? Would you come and make Well, I got the spring done mostly. There's a little bit I decided not to do the... Uh, power on this sprayer has been acting up and I'm not really sure what it is it seems like you get about I don't know, say 130 acres done there's 140 acres or something well I wouldn't even be right it seems like you get about 40 50 acres done and then it starts losing power I don't know it, the battery is fully charged um, I think the fuel filters are good. Anyway, whatever that may be, the spring is done for the perimeters. Now I need to go up and start working on that tree that I started monkeying with yesterday. I got pretty burnt doing it yesterday, so I think I'm going to try and gimp up the tractor with the loader. Man, it is getting really steamy out. I guess um, I was just in the weather when I was moving the trucks around, and they said it's gonna be 94 today and we're probably going to get thunderstorms. I think I hacked it up in small enough pieces that it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, transmission in this tractor is a little weak so we don't use, like to drive it too far or pull a bunch of really really heavy stuff with it but the problem is it's got the forks on it and the bucket and we use those a lot. Well I was able to get most of that out of the way. Kind of made a mess on the ground here but uh, pushed a lot of that way back in. Well, that went pretty well, actually, moving that tree with the tractor. I did do something stupid, though. I tilted the forks a little bit too forward and didn't notice that Gary had moved the forks to the center, which is how you put the forks on. There's a little gap that allows you to slide them on. It fell off the front and speared itself in the ground inside of a bunch of plum thickets, which I'm wearing shorts and a tank top. It kind of got cut up, and I, I was so annoyed with it, I didn't even think to turn on the camera or grab a camera. 
there, <laughs> I pulled it out, <laughs> pulled it out of the plum thickets and put it back on and uh, everything's all good, but <laughs> damn those things are heavy. Okay, uh, enough of that for right now. Um, it's time to go home and let Morgan out. Well, it turned out to be another super windy day. So spring is off the table and we're gonna jump into planting and hopefully the soil is dry enough that we're not gonna have problems. Well, Gary's off to plant. I'm gonna go out and put this little, uh, what do you call this? I don't know, this little T thing. I'm gonna go put this little T deal on the uh, fuel line, the 8430. That one's cracked. Okay, so the problem is right here. This needs to be replaced, and then we have these stupid, pinchy hose clamps. You replace that one and put a bunch of other hose clamps on it. I think we've done this one before, and we've definitely done that one before. Hold on. There was a break right under that clamp. Ten minutes later, I finally got that out, but unfortunately, I pulled the segment that goes to the next ju junction out as well, and it fell down in there. That's gonna be a pain in the butt, no matter what you do. So the worst part about doing this actually is not so much what's in there, which is definitely annoying, but the fact is that there is nowhere to sit. So you're kind of sitting on this tire, on this guard here with your butt. Because if you stand on the axle down there, then you have to hold yourself up with one hand and it's kind of a two hand job. It's annoying. Well, 20 minutes later, and dropping two clamps into the nether, we're getting there. It's just so damn tight in there, I can't fit my body <laughs> in the space out here. I did get a board, so I kind of got something that at least kind of sit on here. It's a pain. Should be done in a few minutes. That was kind of an extreme maneuver. problem he's coming back he broke the downward pressure spring that goes in there so he's in there cutting off a little bit of it so he can try and wedge it in there he needs to hook into the end of this and to you know, down in there a little nub that sticks up Helicopters, God, it's the fourth one today. This thing is really making me lose my patience. The problem is this clamp in there needs to be up and then we need to pinch it together. But the problem is, once it's up, I can't, there's not enough space because of this bar and these filters to get the pliers in there to pinch it shut. You can't pinch it with your fingers. A needle nose won't work. Stupid placement. They put this whole thing on here. I'm half tempted to take it off, but you never know what kind of can of worms you'll get into once you start removing stuff. This is taking way too long and it's way too hot out here. I'm not even gonna tell you how much time it took me to get that last hose clamp on that. It was a ridiculous amount of time. I got actually pretty frustrated and I didn't throw any tools, but I was close. So I took a break, went home, turned on the air conditioner because it's supposed to hit 96 and it's, getting, it's hot out. While I was there, I found a, um, an extended needle nose uh, pliers that are bent at, at an angle like that. Um, and it actually, I was like, I don't even know if this will work, I'll try it. I got it on in like 
20 seconds. Now is the, the, the true test. Go out there and start it and make sure it's not blowing diesel everywhere. Here we go. Spin in the middle, spin your body and kind of line up instead of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like with a regular tractor. Man, with plenty of wind today, we're looking at a high near 96 degrees. That'll be a record. We're going to be looking at strong storms possible after 7 p.m. with gusts that can get 70 miles per hour. This day has been such a struggle just to get going, but now that it's about 3 o'clock, Finally got this dump tractor moving. Gary got about half of that field planted. It was still a little bit wet, but what can you do? It's gotta get in the ground. Sorry about the noise. This, uh, this tractor is really, uh, my screen's freaking out. I better shut this off. Well, pushing trees was pretty uneventful, but um, it was hot and I was overheating, my camera overheated, got the trees that had fallen in, pushed all out, cleaned up. Gary's gonna run out the planter here. It's about four o'clock. It's hot as hell and it's time to quit here pretty soon. I'm just gonna wait for Gary to, uh, to finish up so I can help him fold the planter up and bring it into the shop. Um, kinda hope we get rain, kinda hope we don't because we really need to get stuff in the ground. So if you could just like, could we take a rain check? Is that a thing? Is that where rain check came from? I'll get a rain check. I want to check the rain out in the future. Probably not. Man, that weather turned south quick. Got hail. Yeah, dark really quick. 